It's the final day in and around Newcastle, where Essex boy and footy fan Mark Ackers is trying to out-host his new Geordie chums to win a thousand pounds. Right, guys, make yourselves at home. I'm going to start the uh, starter. Lovely. Thank, Thank you, Mark. Mark. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Mark constructs a fig and walnut salad before deep frying his brie. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And there it is. Hot breaded cheese, salad, and the all important glaze. Thank you. That looks amazing. Cheers. So we have uh, deep fried brie uh, with a fig and walnut salad. And have you found uh, the cheese, Debs? I was expecting this cheese. I wasn't looking forward to it at all, and it's it's actually quite nice. Oh, good. Oh my god, the cheesy thing, the the fried brie. It was really nice. Debs was my biggest concern with the starter, and the fact that she enjoyed it was uh, was really good. So it was good. Who doesn't like deep fried cheese? But basic. I mean, you buy the cheese, you put it in some breadcrumbs, and you fry it. Back at the table, and Mark is discussing his love of football. Well, Man United, anyway. I had a season ticket with me, with my dad and my brother for the last sort of 14, 15 years. Right. Okay. Go, yeah. go to every home game, away mm -hmm. games we can, and. Uh, yeah, we travelled quite far. We went, we've even been as far as, uh, as Russia for a game. Of... Russia, just to watch a game of football? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was the final of the Champions League, though. Yeah, that doesn't make any difference whatsoever to me. He travelled all the way to Russia to go and see a football match. What on earth? Like, could we not got something else better to do with your life? Mm. Should I, I tell you who I once met? Please. Georgie Best. He wasn't playing then, obviously. No. I'm not that old. Yeah. But um, he was an older guy, but he, he still had the twinkle. He was lovely. Yeah, yeah I can imagine Karen meeting George Best. I want to know what went on. Not sure anyone else does. So, yeah, maybe I'm a little bit boring, a little bit standard uh, Englishman who's in his <laughs> 30s and likes football. Yeah. How, how weird would everyone say they are on a scale of one to ten? I reckon I'm a nine. Yeah, I reckon I'm a ten, probably. I'm just... You've yes, seen, you've seen mm. nothing yet. If you ten. haven't been a ten already, like, I don't... I have not been a ten. Well, anyway, I'm scared. I want to see straight up ten wacky Dave. <laughs> It's absolutely not for debate who's the weirdest friend at the table. It is David. I mean, the bloke is absolutely nuts. I do, however, think that you are the least wacky out of every single person. I think that's a compliment, thank you. Do you know what? If I'm middle of the roads, I'm on a, I'm on a bloody good road. What do you think you are yourself? Uh, um, I, have, I have my moments. Two, three? Yeah, two the or three. Dave, mm. sorry, yeah. I would say, yeah, maybe a five. Mark's not even three out of ten weird. Mark is probably less than three out of ten weird. I think I'm a three or a four. Karen, come on! Oh my god! Karen thought she was a three. Mm -hmm. I'm the only normal person I Karen, know. <laughs> Karen, you are not normal. No, it... uh -huh. To me, I am the only normal person I know. If Karen thinks she's only three out of ten crazy in the room, that makes her the most craziest person. We're all okay. insane, but the best people are. She's at least still 24, 24, 11. I don't know, she's past 10. She's past 10. That'll do, Debs.